Alexis just gave birth to her new baby. She had a C-section, so she'll be taking good care of herself and her incision for the weeks ahead. While she spends a few days in the hospital, Alexis will start to heal and move around more to build up her strength. Before she leaves the hospital, Alexis will ask her nurse questions and talk about any concerns she has about recovery. As part of her postpartum care plan, Alexis will have someone drive her back home. She shouldn't drive until she is fully healed, which can be up to six weeks or longer. Finally at home, Alexis is limiting her activity and has some things handy like menstrual pads for bleeding, healthy meals, water to stay hydrated, and baby care items close by. She'll avoid activities like heavy lifting, housework, sex, baths, exercise, and using tampons. At her two-week post-op and postpartum checkups, Alexis will have her incision checked out and ask her provider when it would be okay to start doing those activities again. If at any point Alexis is depressed or experiencing other mood changes, she'll talk with friends, family, or her provider for support. She'll also know when to seek care if post-birth warning signs come up. If her C-section incision is showing signs of infection like redness, increased pain, draining fluid, or things just don't seem right, she'll go see her provider. Alexis is an expert on her body and always asks her health provider questions. She knows that asking for help and putting her health first is best for her and her baby.